I'm going to show you my favorite transition effects that I use in DaVinci Resolve on a regular basis in my videos. They're easy to use and the best part is they're 100% free. G'day mate, if you're a DaVinci Resolve beginner and you're looking to up your gaming and your editing, then you can use these transitions to do just that. They're built into DaVinci. They're built into DaVinci. They're built into DaVinci. DaVinci. They're already built into DaVinci Resolve, which is awesome, and they will definitely make your editing look more professional. I use these all the time in various different projects, and they always look great. You can, of course, edit and manipulate these transitions and make them do even more amazing things as you progress in your editing. But for now, let's just see what they can do out of the box. So let's take a look. All right, here we are. I've got some stock footage clips that I found. And how this scene kind of works is you've got two people walking through the snow, and then it cuts to them warming up afterwards. But... Because it just cuts, it kind of doesn't feel like it's a proper transition. I'll show you what I mean. It's really well shot, whoever shot it. Good job. So let's add some transitions. So if you click up the top here, you've got a media pool, and then you've got an effects tab here. If your effects tab isn't open, just click effects and you'll open up down the bottom here, or it might open up on the side depending on how you've set up your DaVinci Resolve. But you need a window that look, kind of looks like this. I'm going to click on Toolbox, and you'll see that there is a thing called Video Transitions. I'll click that, and you can scroll and see all the transitions that are available. Now, there is quite a lot available. DaVinci provides heaps and heaps of transitions, but I'm going to show you a few that I really like. Obviously, there's one or two that isn't going to look well on this scene because it's a cold, wintry scene, but you get the idea. The first one I use all the time is one called Blur Dissolve. You just left click on it, drag it across, and sit it right over the two clips like so. So when you watch the clip, it does this. Kind of shows a passage of time. As you can see, the transition blurs the two clips together, it hides the cut, and it comes back in. And if you don't want to use that transition, you can just click on it and hit delete on your keyboard, and that'll remove it. The cool thing about DaVinci Resolve, when you want to see what kind of transitions you want to use, is this. You can just put your play wheel right on the join. And you go over to, say, the Blur Dissolve one we just looked at. And if you just hold your mouse on it, you don't even have to click on it, and then just move left and right. You'll see the transition happen. And you can see what you're going to get without having to drop it on there and delete it, drop it on there and delete it. One of my other favorites I use quite often is the Cross Dissolve one, which is this one here. As you can see... It slowly dissolves between the two scenes, which is quite nice as well. You've got dip to color, which will actually fade in, fade out the scene. It's pretty cool. And non-additive dissolve kind of blends one scene into the other, but in sort of a weird wavy fashion. If you bring your mouse across, you can see how it sort of just brings it in. It's very interesting. So if I click that on there, for instance, like that, and you press play, it goes like that. I quite like that one as well. If you go to the iris tab here, you can see by the shape on the iris tab down the left here, you can see what kind of transition you're going to get. So if we click on one of these, like the cross, it'll actually do that. And whatever shape you've got is what it's going to follow. So in the iris area, they're all the same as that. They're just different shapes. And then you've got in the motion area, you've got the barn door. It's like this. And you've got push, which, which basically the push is good and the slide are very similar. What it does, put the push one on there, it literally cuts from one side to the other. It's a nice transition as well, it's kind of different. And the slide one does something very similar. All these other shape ones are kind of like if you're looking for something stylized. But the triangle left one is pretty much Star Wars. You can blend the edge of that and basically do a cross wipe if you want to have that Star Wars feel. And as you scroll down, you look at the wipes, all these shapes are pretty much what it does. Like if you go to Spiral White, for instance, it spirals in and out. Okay, another one I love is the Block Glitch. I'll put that across over here and have a look at it. We'll press Play. It's really good if you're doing some kind of high-tech video where you've got technology flashing around. It doesn't apply to this scene, but it's pretty good otherwise. Another one I like to use on a regular basis is Brightness Flash. It's kind of like that additive dissolve that I showed you earlier, but what I like about it is it creates this brightness effect as well. So you can literally show a passage of time from the walk, like they could be walking to a cabin, flash to later on in the day, they've warmed up a bit and having a cup of coffee. 
If you're a wedding videographer, you're going to love Crash Zoom that's under Fusion Transitions as you scroll down, this one here. If you scroll your mouse left and right, this is what it looks like. It basically fades and zooms in the, the next shot. And another one I use all the time is called Film Strip. I love this one. It's probably my favorite one, this one. It's not appropriate for this particular scene, but if you're transitioning from one thing to another, you can add like a bit of a film strip sound to it and it looks really cool. Next one I like is called Glitch. It's like a digital glitch, so it's like glitch in your footage. As it's very similar to the one I showed you before, it's be good for technology type videos where you're showing glitches in the matrix, for instance. The next one's called the glow effect. You'll see this one in movies all the time. This is where someone might have died and they show a passage of time and it shows what's happening next. This lovely couple's walking through the woods and we'll just move the mouse left and right. Close white. If I was filming this scene, I wanted to show that this happy couple and someone had died, you'd have this shot and another shot afterwards where it's just one person. But this is what it looks like. And this one here is one of my favorites as well. It's it's definitely not suitable for this particular scene, but it looks really cool. It's called Burn Away. While we're on the subject of favorites, let's just keep talking about them. Here's another one. This one looks great as well. Very professional, gives it that really cool look. One I use for drone images, which is really interesting. I had a shot where I had to show the, the drone flying from the beach to the house, and it had to cut to a straight down shot. And what I did is I used the radial transition here. So I've just brought the clip down into the timeline here. And as you can see, when it plays, it goes from one shot to another shot. So it goes from a forward flying shot, look at the screen on the right, and then flips into a shot that pans down. It almost looks like I did the whole thing in one shot. When the agent saw it, they thought I'd filmed it in one go, which is quite interesting. If you're new to DaVinci Resolve editing and you want to improve quickly, I've created a video right here that goes over all the basics of DaVinci Resolve so you can get better at whatever it is you want to do. I'll see you over there.